So today folks, I bring you five amazing free vehicles which you don't have to spend a penny on. Well, I say five, a couple of these seem to be bugged, so they appear for some and not others, or they appear at some times of the day and not other times of the day. But I'm pretty certain they are bugged and will be fixed in a future patch. So I say I bring you five amazing vehicles today, it's more like three and a half. But still, you need them in your life and they don't cost anything. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So there are 5 vehicles you can get in this game without paying a penny for and for the most part are rewarded to you for just playing the game and today we check them out. In fact a couple of these you can literally run and grab as soon as you start playing. Ok so first up and this one is a little weird, it's called the Colby CX140 boot or butt whatever that says. This is a car which seems to be there for some people but not for others. We haven't figured out what triggers it to spawn in but in my opinion I don't think there is one, I think it's just bugged. I've almost done everything on my main character and it isn't there for me, yet my pal who's just completed the prologue went there and got it straight away. So within the Badlands as you can see pinpointed on a map right now is like a filming production setup with a couple of dead bodies lying around and a couple of cars scattered about the place. But this car, well for some people, is also sometimes sitting here and it's as simple as just jumping in it and there you have it, it's yours, you own it. And it really is that simple but for others like me it just isn't there and I can't get it to spawn in no matter what I do. So go here, check if it's there for you and let me know. Ok so next up guys and if you haven't completed the prologue yet, spoiler warning in 3, 2, 1, ok. So next up we have Jackie's bike. So Jackie's bike is pretty special, it's called the Arch Nazar and it looks amazing. But you should get this bike no matter what choices you make, as there's a point within the prologue where you have to send Jackie's body after he dies. If you pick his family, this opens up further side missions with Jackie's mum, who will call you and eventually you will see yourself getting Jackie's guns as well as his bike. If you opt not to send Jackie to his family and pick to send him to Victor's clinic, his mum will eventually leave the bike keys outside of your apartment and it is just a case of going and pick the bike up and well from there guys you have this bike. But hang on, there's another version of this bike on this list so don't go anywhere. But next up guys and we have in my opinion what's the most iconic car in this game and that's Johnny Silverhand's Porsche and well although this isn't the fastest or best handling car in the game, guys it's a Porsche, it's a must get. So to get this one you need to get quite a way through the story via completing and getting to the stage of a side mission called chipping in. This is done by completing the side mission Tapeworm. Tapeworm is automatically completed upon talking to Johnny Silverhand within 4 story missions along its chain. The story missions are automatic love, transmission, life during wartime and search and destroy. Once you've completed them you should get the side mission of chipping in. Towards the end of this mission you will meet a dude called Grayson, here it's very important that you do not kill him. When the opportunity with the dialogue comes up, you need to choose, you got lucky and let him live. He will then give you the keys to a container, within that container is Johnny's Porsche and there you have it guys, an amazing car to add to your collection. Ok so next up people we have another version of the Arch Nazar motorbike and this one labelled the Sumaid. Now this is the end of a side mission reward from the Highway Man side mission. But guys, you don't actually have to do this mission to get this bike, you can actually just go to this lockup as you can see on screen now, enter in a code and take the bike away. So you can see this happening on screen now of where this bike is located, so once here simply enter the code of 0214. The locker opens up and you can simply grab this bike and ride away with it, and it's yours. Now we'll state this is another one that's bugged for some people, as it wasn't there for me. For some reason the mission for the bike isn't there, which is called the Highway Man. This side mission opens up after you complete the prologue mission the ride. I completed that obviously, I've completed the game, but still the Highway Man side mission isn't there for me. Is it in my completed, it isn't in my quest to do, it just isn't there for me. And if it isn't there for you guys, you may not be able to retrieve this bike. But it seems as though most people can. But thanks to my pal My Life Crisis for this footage, as you can see, the bike is there for him. His channel can be found in the link below if you do want to check him out. Ok so lastly guys we have the fastest car in the game and that is the Rayfield Caliburn. So this Bugatti wannabe is probably the easiest to get from this list as it's as simple as entering a cave system, driving up to it, jumping in it and driving away. Now I will state like the two bikes I've mentioned previously, this one seems kinda buggy as well and I experienced this first hand. 
as when I first went to get this car, it wasn't there for me. I run up to where you eventually kill Nash in the Panam side missions, I come back and all of a sudden, the container appeared and it was there. So I don't know whether this is on a timer, I don't know whether it's time of day, I just don't know what's going on here. But for the most part, it seems to be there for most people. So hopefully it is for you too, and you can see its location on screen now. But there we have it guys, five amazing free vehicles for your driving pleasure. And I hope you don't have any problems with bugs with any of them. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.